What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Angela Altieri. If this is your first time here and welcome to my video. Last time I did a highlighter collection video and now I'm going into my bronzers, blushes, and face powders because I think that's enough for one video and then next time the rest of my face products, primers, foundation, concealer, and setting sprays. You know, a lot too but you know that's an next time problem um so yeah let's just get right into the collection let's eat it okay so this is where i keep all of my other face products this is bronzers blushes setting powders um and pressed finishing powders and whatnot so yeah let's get into exactly what i have going on over here here are all of my setting powders and finishing powders. To start, we have two Fenty Beauty powders. This is a mini honey. I bought this to set my face in the summertime because this shade banana sometimes lightens me, lightens me. So yeah, I bought honey and I did I bought it in a mini because I knew I wouldn't use a full size. There's a lot, I have a lot of powder and I feel like there's so much left in here still and I use that a lot. Then I have two more mini powders. I have the Dusty Hourglass Veil Powder. This is, this gives you like a nice gleam to the skin. I don't use it, well I use it as like a finishing powder, not necessarily to set anything. To set I'll use Fenty or Jeffree or one of these. And then I have a mini Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I think this was my first one that I bought. And I love this. I stopped using this because I bought a bunch of other powders. But I tried this the other day and I had almost no creasing whatsoever. It was amazing. Then I bought the, or then I have the Jeffree Star Magic Star setting powder in beige. This also <laughs> smells really good. And this gives a nice blurred effect. Like, my skin looks so smooth after using this. I love this powder. This is a new... Oh my god, I have powder everywhere. This is a new purchase for me. This is the Maybelline Superstay Powder Foundation in 220 Natural Beige. I bought this to set my under eyes because I wanted a pressed powder to set my under eyes. I have a problem with creasing. I tried this once, it was okay. I still need to use it a little bit more. I bought this for the same reason. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder or Micro Powder into Medium. I've used a good amount of this. It's dusty, there's a little dent. Love that. I'm using my makeup. Um my god, the frame. Um, Manny Mue was talking about this, and I feel like somebody else was talking about this, so I purchased it, and yeah, I like it. It's not like amazing, amazing, but I like it. Okay, so this product broke because some sticky stuff got on it, and when I tried opening it, it just completely broke off. I keep it together just so like, I don't know, so it seems a little bit more sanitary. Um, this is the Sephora Mic this way this is the sephora micro smooth powder in tan i i got this again because Alyssa actually raves about it i don't use this enough like i especially now should be using this this gives a nice um micro smoothing effect so duh this is like a mac mineralized skin finish it was a pretty sheen and this gives me a little bit of color so when my setting powder lightens me up i could put this on and it brings me my color back. I got it especially for the for the summertime. This is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder in the shade 003 Natural. I bought this because Allie Glines, I think that's how you say her name, um, talked about it because I get really oily in my T zone, like on my nose and on my chin. So I figured if I'm if I'm trying to be outside all day long, this would be good for me to stay matte where I want to stay matte. So that's all my setting powders. Almost forgot this. Here I have my hourglass ambient lighting palette. Blue. 
Um, yeah, these are the colors. Swatched. Wait, what are the colors? As dim light, incandescent light, and radiant light. I use this every day when I use my makeup. I just swipe my brush on all the colors, dust it on my face, primarily on the places I highlight for like a lip for my thin glow. I love this product. I use it every time I use my makeup, without a doubt. Like you'll always see it down in the description in the look that I'm wearing. Next are all of my bronzers. I love, 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 love bronzer. Probably one of my favorite products with highlight or whatever. Um, I love it. I have so many and I'm always looking for new bronzers because I get really tan. So anything so that will actually bronze me and not show up on my face or just look like a finishing powder on me. So first here I have two Physicians Formula Butter Bronzers. One in bronzer so the original shade this is for when i'm fair and this is deep bronzer i got it for when i'm a little bit more tan do people swatch bronzers oh she got a little dent yes i love that but you see how light this one is right now and my packaging always breaks on this product i don't know why but they're so smooth so buttery very flawless easy to blend gives me no problems ever but you see even now the deep bronzer seems like a little bit light on me and the light bronzer just wouldn't show up so i use deep bronzer mainly if i want to um as a contouring powder for on my nose or in my crease for when i'm wearing a bronzer that's shimmery or too warm to do a contour with then I have this Too Faced Sweetie Pie Bronzer. I got this a long, long time ago. It's so pretty. With oh, It looks like a pie. And it smells like peaches still. I've had this for a while. Um, again, I use this one when I'm fair. Which is why I have these in the back. But it gives a nice sheen to the skin. It's such a pretty bronzer especially if you're fair i would highly recommend it and then i have the mac x aladdin collection bronzer in the shade well it's a it's a powder blush they say in the shade your wish is my command oh please thank you so much um i got this because my friend gave me my best friend maya gave me a gift card for my birthday because i wanted this i was obsessed I think this came out on my actual birthday. This, I have such mixed feelings about. I'm not getting rid of it ever because I love Aladdin. And this is the only thing I got from the collection. The color works perfectly for me. It's just the formula is a little bit dry. And a little bit hard to blend. But I'm not getting rid of it. This is the Ulta Beauty Baked Bronzer. Doesn't have shade. I guess this is the only one i like to use this when i'm lighter or as a bronzer topper because do you see that oh this is so pretty this gives a nice shimmery is that it could even be a finishing powder depending on your skin tone it just gives the cheeks a nice beautiful beautiful glow i love that then this product this is the e.l.f. primer infused bronzer in constantly bronzed the first time can i even open it now brb the first time i got this product this happened i don't love that and this bronzer i don't know i think it's a little bit too red for me but if i mix it in with like so a deep bronzer from Physicians Formula. It's pretty good. It's smooth. It blends well. It's just, I feel like the color is a little off for me. But I like it anyway. I use it anyway. And then next I have this Black Radiant. Excuse me so much. I have the Black Radiant, Radiant Press Powder in Bronze Glow. This was on sale somewhere. And I was like, hmm, that looks like it could be cute as a bronzer 
and oh my god it is it was like five dollars when i purchased it it is so smooth so blendable and such a beautiful color for bronzing on me personally I, this is one of my favorite bronzers it's not too warm it's not too cool i can definitely use it to contour my nose or put it in my crease for a natural moment i love this bronzer next i have oh my goodness next i have the tarte park at princess bronzer um i got this in a sephora favorites i think this is really for when i'm light or maybe even a topper just like the ulta one because this is too light for me but it gives a nice shimmer and a nice glow to the cheeks it's not too warm not too cool all oh, it is a bit more cool tone but that's a pretty bronzer this is the crazy um it looks crazy i think this is broken too yeah this is broken i don't know how that broke but this is the wet and wild mega icon bronzer and you're dragging me down this was limited edition um this is the first product i've ever 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 hit pan on i love this bronzer so much i love it when i'm fair i love it oh my god f, 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 f. be careful with your bronzers I love this one in fair. I love this one. I'm tan right now. I use this all the time. All the time. This with the black radiance. It's so smooth. It blends well. It is stunning. When I saw the pan, I was like, wait, what's going on? What is that? Because I've never hit pan before. And yeah, that's probably the first product I, I run out of. Next, I have something new to my collection. One of my newest bronzers. This is the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Bronzer in Caramel Cutie. I got this in the little set with the with the matchstick. I can't open. I always struggle to open this. This is what it looks like. I use this a lot because I bought it and I want to use it. Ooh, this is perfect for me now. This gives a nice, beautiful warmth to the skin. It's easy to blend. And I don't have any problems like it being too pigmented or like I apply too much, I look muddy or anything. I love that bronzer. And then last but not least, I think this came with the Tarte bronzer I have in the same collection. Packaging is rubbing off. This is the Becca Capri Coast Sunlit Bronzer. Again, something for when I'm fair. And this gives a beautiful glow. This is a lot like the Ulta bronzer. Not even as shimmery as the Ulta one, but it gives a nice glow to the skin. I could probably even get away with using this now, but like again, as a topper for my bronzer. So yeah, that's all of my bronzers. Oh wait, actually there's more. So this would be a great seg segue from Bronzer to Blush because this has both in it. This is the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. These two bronzers I love. This is Sunny Honey and Tropic Like It's Hot. Sunny Honey is matte. It's a little bit, little bit light for me right now. I mean, I could still use it and I could definitely use it with this on top. This is a lot redder in tone and it gives a nice glow to the cheeks. I love that. And then the blush is in here. Almost forgot. Oops. And then the blush is in here. We have pink wink and pink sand. These blushes are so pretty. You get a nice pop of color for the summertime. I go into this quite often. And then a nice mauve tone, which is also very pretty. I love this palette, especially for traveling. I went to Miami a few weeks ago and I brought this with me and this is all I use. It's great. Now these are all of my blushes, right? And then I have one in a Z palette. Um, first let's go into this Alamar Cosmetics Colorette Blush Trio in medium yeah, medium tan. I got this in a boxy charm and I was so excited. Um, I really wanted these and I'm happy to have them. The colors are 
gorgeous. They're pigmented. They're a little bit sheeny and definitely, definitely complement my skin tone. These are exactly what I look for in a blush. Not too matte, not too shimmery, not too glittery. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's very, very, this is very similar to my Anastasia Blush Trio in Peachy Love. Like, super similar. I had to figure out how to justify keeping both of them. And I was like, they're different enough for me to keep both of them the pinks are a little bit different like this is a lot more peachy than pink the mauve is a little bit more mauvey and the orange is a little bit more orange so i keep both of them i think they're beautiful i got this one for about ten dollars at tj maxx so i was like let me pick that up it looks beautiful perfect to travel with i love those then I have two Milani Baked Blushes in the classic Luminoso and Bellissimo Bronze. I love this one a lot more because I love bronzy tones, I have tan skin, it just, it just looks better on me and it works better for me, well for my preferences. Beautiful bronzy color, they weren't lying. And I keep this because it is a classic. And when I want those peachy, shining cheeks, this is what I'll go for. But for an everyday look, I'll probably go in with something like this because it just looks natural, more natural on me. But when I'm going for a certain peachy or pinky look, I'll definitely go in with Luminoso. Then I have this Fenty Matchstick that came with the bronzer in cinnamon. I have not used this on my face. I don't I don't know how to use this like what is this bronzer topper a blush I don't know but it's still pretty so I was like, I'm gonna keep that and you know I did then this got messed up don't mind that this is the Ulta Beauty mineral blush this I really love this formula and I really love this color it's shimmery it's a it's pigmented so like you would definitely have to be careful applying it to the cheeks it's very similar to this color but not as deep and yeah it gives a nice flush to my cheeks i love that then i have jesus this essence satin blush satin touch blush in the shade oh the ultimate one is in the shade carnation this is in the shade 02 satin love this is like three bucks or something and I can't open it. Oh, oh, it's broken too. Ugh. Anyways, this is very, this is very beautiful, very satiny. It's a little bit light for me now, but wow, it'll give a beautiful glow to the cheeks. Super blendable, like everyday shade. So pretty, and it's broken. Then I have this Burt's Bees blush in Toasted Cinnamon. Kathleen Knights was raving about this, so I was like, you know what, let me get it. Finally found it in a CVS, so I was like, okay, let me go for it. It's a beautiful, natural, everyday color. It's a little bit, a little bit, like, too light for me right now, but it gives a nice, like, subtle sheen to the cheeks. Very natural, very beautiful. I recommend it. Okay, now I have this Too Faced Papa Don't Peach, right? That's it. Blush. This smells so good. I bought this a long, long time ago. I don't think it's getting hard pan yet, but it might soon. It's a beautiful peachy shade. It gives a nice sheen to the cheeks. If you're fair, it'll probably show up a lot more on you than it does on me. But I love the color. And I think I'm keeping it for sentimental reasons, whatever. It's fine. Then I have two Wet n Wild Color Icon blushes. This is Pearlescent Pink. This is Mellow Wine. The packaging, here we go again. Broken. I swear I take care of my makeup. It's just some people, you know, they need more sturdy packaging. This, I think Manny anyway was raving about it. And this one just looked more like my color, something that I would wear more often 
because I'm a really pinky kind of girl, but it is a very, very beautiful pinky shade with a little bit of golden reflex. And then the smell of wine, definitely something I would wear more often. Little mauve berry tone. Looks really pretty, especially when I'm a little bit more tan. This, I don't even know if I can swatch this because I don't know if my nails will get in there. This is the Benefit Gold Rush in a Mini. This is too light for me now. It's broken. I don't want to talk about it. Um, but yeah, I definitely cannot get in there. Can I? No, I have to like swatch it like this. Can you see that? Let's see. Yeah, it's a very paley pinky cool tone pink but i love it when i'm a little bit more fair in the winter time i think it's beautiful so oh and then i have one more blush then going back into my z palette just yesterday oh my goodness oh my goodness just yesterday i got this color pop blush in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. This is Lunar Has It. Again, this is like toasted cinnamon a little bit, but everyday shade, very simple, a little bit warm tone, matte, but not too matte, easy to blend. It's beautiful. So yeah, that is all of my blushes, finally. These are products I just got in the mail. This I got in my BoxyCharm. I tried it out today. This is the Becca Hydro Mist Set and Refresh Powder. This is in the powder that's um, included in the book in the intro and the outro because I got this after I filmed. But so, hey. But so far, so good. I really like it. Dude, I just got in my Ulta haul. I have the, look at my swatches. I have the Flower Bomb Color Drops for Cheeks. This is your there a uh, liquid blush in cinnamon that's the top one right there i haven't tried that out yet i have the bh cosmetics blushing in bali base palette let me here is the palette i have it swatched okay i have it swatched um in order so lychee coral pomegranate goison sunkissed and ember I will be trying these things out tomorrow and yeah everything looked gorgeous i swatched everything in ulta and then they gave me a credit card so when i bought a bunch of things i've been wanting okay guys so that was my bronzer blush and face powder collection thank you so so much for watching if you liked the video if you like me make sure and hit the like button down below and also hit subscribe bell notification if you're feeling froggy and you're waiting for my next videos the rest of my collection um yeah and if you like me if you like my videos share it to one friend all your friends some of your friends share it on instagram i'll link my instagram i'll link my twitter um yeah i really appreciate it and again thank you so so much for watching and stay tuned next time Thank <laughs> you.